The Sur generator, SEG, technology, as applied to the commercial market, had been previously developed to the point where a few prototype SEG generators were made and used for electricity generation and motion. Commercial interest at that time focused on the SEG's transport potential and, under commercial pressure to deliver a fully functional system, the original generators were used and lost in a series of vehicular propulsion experiments and demonstrations. Funding was insufficient to continue with the manufacture of the required larger-scale pressurized cabin machines, resulting in the termination of the project at that time. Although all the operating principles, precise proportions and weights of the required materials are known for three of the four required operating materials, the precise data of the original magnetic layer is uncertain. The objective of the current R&D program is to re-establish the original magnetic layer using modern and more efficient materials. Originally, the layered materials were constructed and magnetized by the now-defunct Midlands Electricity Board under the direction of John Searle. Modern magnetic materials have advanced considerably, and old ones discontinued, so a series of tests need to be conducted to establish the optimum materials and processes. These tests need to comply with the working criteria required and must lead to a cost-effective manufacturing process. In recent times SISRC has been re-establishing the original research. Due to the very limited funding that has been available, only a partially functioning demonstration prototype of the SEG principles has been possible. This prototype consists of the innermost of the three composite tings required and several rollers.